very soft. Now warmer now. The vision, yes, new. I came to Kingston oh, 21 years ago, and I, I've, I've taught at the school and worked in the church ever since then. I never ever thought that I, I'd turn my efforts to, to finding a new organ. I've seen choir boys come and choir boys go, and I've seen choir boys get choral scholarships and, and always try to, to work to this kind of standard to get the best out of them. I don't see any reason at all why we shouldn't aim for the best all the time. And we don't always get it, but we, we try. And when we came to look at the organ, uh, I mean, exactly the same philosophy we thought should apply. Why, why compromise? When the church finally agreed to sign the contract with Eric, I felt we'd overcome a major hurdle. We'd committed ourselves, and that's what... When the church finally agreed to sign the contract with Eric, I felt we'd overcome a major hurdle. We'd committed ourselves, and that's what mattered. The price was about £200,000, to be paid in instalments in Danish krona. It didn't occur to me to worry about the money. I suppose I'm just an eternal optimist. I thought to myself, there's plenty of money in Kingston and they'll be enthusiastic to give it to a thing like this. Of, of what's going on here. 
and of the, uh, the use of the organ as, obviously, as, as basically an accompanying instrument in, in the Anglican church service. David, first of all, it was heavenly. Really. Fantastic. You enjoyed it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And all the time, you see, the sound is, is fluctuating, you know, the, the, the organ is getting louder, softer, always discreet. The swell has to be very, very effective and good. That's right. I mean, we're not any longer talking about, you know, the tremendous force of, no. a, of a solo instrument, no. but something... And a beautiful bass. Yeah. Beautiful Aha, yes. bass is very important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 